everybody and welcome to yet another Q&A video because I honestly have no idea what to post on YouTube. First question, what have you planned to do with Alaska this year? Okay, so first, let's just make it clear what this year means because I honestly feel like the pandemic made the world stop, at least where I live. So 2020 and 2021, I literally haven't been able to do anything and we even had to go through a six month hiatus in our jumping. But on the year of 2022, I plan to make the beast go back into competitions and it's gonna be amazing. Second question, when will you graduate vet school? So for those of you who don't know, I am currently studying veterinary nursing and hopefully I will graduate somewhere between October and December this year. I only have to finish my internship and do a silly presentation that I really don't feel like doing, but if I don't do it, I won't graduate. So let's just present it, um, act like I actually know something and then I can graduate. Next, what do you think about giving me and Safita some classes? I would honestly love that. Like seriously, <laughs> can we do it? Can we? And I'm starting to think maybe I should take a course so I could teach people in writing. Cause I feel like maybe I could be good at it as a side hustle, you know? And hey, more money for Alaska. So he's not complaining either. I hope so. But the only reason why I am considering a course is because I don't think it is legal for me to go around training other people without any kind of diploma that says I actually know something. But if it's not like that, please let me know. <laughs> um, I feel like many of the trainers I have met in Portugal, no idea about the other countries, but at least in Portugal, people are not quite educated on subjects such as behavior, biomechanics, health, nutrition. Seriously though, I've had some terrible trainers and I'm very outspoken about it. Um, Alaska had to go through a lot due to the trainers having no idea what to do with him and then trying to put, uh, say, a flash noseband on him that Alaska absolutely hated and then one day I was having a writing lesson at night so I removed the flash noseband without my trainer noticing and then in the end he was like oh that was really good today you are so much better and I was like thank you <laughs> because I know exactly what was wrong there and it was the damn noseband but like literally nobody listened to me so I just took the initiative and I'm very glad I did Question number four, one big goal you have for either yourself or with Alaska. So one of my biggest personal goals that sounds completely crazy is to jump into Sauterme in the Campalin Paris. I remember being just a little child and sitting in the living room with my grandfather watching that horse show and I was like, damn, that has to be the most beautiful place in the world to jump in. So that's my life goal. It is to jump into Sauterme. It's not even the Olympics, okay? It's that place. <laughs> and as for Alaska, I feel like he has already given me so, so much. We literally grew up together. I was 12 and he was seven when we first met. And I only jumped up to 60 centimeters in competitions with a school horse. Um, then I trained Alaska myself to jump up to one meter and 10. Even in the flat work, I literally taught him everything he knows. So yeah, this boy already gave me so much more than I could ever ask for, but I would really, really like to get him to do a really nice piafis because we always struggled with collection, okay? Alaska is the kind of horse who was made just for galloping around. He has a huge stride for his own size and collection with him is the toughest thing to do. So yeah, doing the piafe with him would honestly be like, my holy grail of training Alaska. And now we are on to our final question. I actually had some more um, other than these, but they were just so general and abstract and I could go on and on about it. So sorry, I'm not gonna tell you how my life is because it's hectic as always. <laughs> it's way too much for a person alone. The last question is about getting back a horse's confidence after the rider had a bad fall over a jump 
and I think we have all been there like honestly who hasn't who hasn't had a bad fall over a jump and completely lost confidence in themselves and lost confidence in the horse and therefore the horse lost confidence in them because they became hesitant I mean isn't that a thing among show jumpers so yeah trust me you are not alone I promise you that but let me start by saying what I think you should not do. Um, I feel like some trainers push us into doing the things we do not feel comfortable with. Like, don't be afraid, go and do it. Jump this high, jump that crazy turn, just do it. And if we do not feel confident, we are going to hesitate. And that will create some hesitation in the horse as well. Then it leads to refusals and that in turn will only decrease your own confidence even further so seriously do do not let someone push you into doing the things you do not feel comfortable with it will backfire i can assure you that frankly i like to take the opposite approach and instead of um pushing myself or my horse to jump a certain height i I am perfectly comfortable with lowering the jumps. I've done it so many times after Alaska had that traumatic fall, so I am no stranger to lowering the jumps and making things easier. I honestly think that if things are not going well, you should lower the jumps. You should make things easier. It's honestly no shame to simplify it. And another thing that I feel like really helps with both confidence, technique, the horse's agility, the horse's physical condition, and the list goes on and on and on, is just doing grid work. I mean, if you make the entrance to the grid um, super duper easy, that you and your horse cannot miss it, then you just have to jump the first jump and then go with the flow. <laughs> Everything will work out fine if the distances are good, but if the distances are not good, then sorry, not sorry, it might be a little messed up. But yeah, bottom line is lower the jumps and if you are going to raise them, try doing um, some great work or a double with a tiny entrance. It works for me, it works for Alaska. I have no idea if it will work for you, but seriously, just don't be afraid to lower the jumps, make things easier, maybe start from zero again because I promise you it's better to take things back to basics than to just keep pushing while you know it does not work. Another thing I would advise you against is to make deadlines, so to speak, like on this day I'm going to jump this height and that is it. But then you get there that day and you start jumping lower heights and things are not going well. Maybe you are not seeing the stride. Maybe the horse is just too strong. <sighs> Those days are so bad. And I feel like we all get a little messed up when we are planning to do something and things are not going well that day. Don't be afraid to just scratch your plans and stay on lower heights. If things are not going well, you can always raise it another day. But if you decide to raise the jumps on a day when things are not going well, then you might even take yourself and your horse back a few steps. So trust me, it's better to wait and raise it later than to raise it today when you know things are not going to go well. Last but not least, if you feel like the exercise is a little too technical, then maybe do it with the poles on the ground first or with small fences however you feel better but seriously if you feel like an exercise is way too technical maybe it's better to do it with poles on the ground and if you feel confident doing that put small fences on but don't go for crazy things that scare you straight away seriously just build it up confidence is something that is so hard to gain in the equestrian sport but so easy to lose you just lose it like this well, that was it, everybody. I hope you got to appreciate my makeup today because I am honestly in love with it. I am so sorry that I completely disappeared from YouTube for a while, but I do love you all very much and I would really appreciate it if you could leave a like, comment, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and share some of the videos with your friends because I would honestly feel much more motivated if I had more interactions. I guess this is goodbye. <laughs>